This is KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. A major bust went down along the Santa Barbara County coastline this morning. The authorities there swarming a boat believed to be involved in a human and drug smuggling operation. And News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri arrived on scene first. The first sighting of a suspicious boat was in the 8 o'clock hour off the Ventura County coastline. About an hour later, the boat was in the near shore waters near Refugio, and 15 people were jumping out. Santa Barbara County Sheriff's deputies and state park officers swarmed the area and cut off access points. The group surrendered, including three that initially ran. The isolated beach known as Arroyo Quimada has a steep cliff, and the area was thoroughly checked for anyone who might have escaped or someone waiting to meet the group in a getaway vehicle. The U.S. Coast Guard joined with a chopper overhead to inspect the coast and help with the recovery of two stuffed backpacks that were found floating in the water. Investigators on scene said the backpacks had been tossed out by the crew. After those on the boat came ashore, the vessel itself hit the beach just past Refugio, and there was evidence on the boat that they may have been on the water for about three days. Both the backpacks had multiple packets of drugs believed to be primarily methamphetamine. They were double wrapped and in plastic bags. The quantity was not precisely known. On the scene, the group, with both men and women was given blankets, water and food along with a medical checkup before they were turned over to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. There were no injuries. The boat known as a Ponga drifted into the coastline. Coast Guard crews came to the scene in a cutter to double check the shoreline and also determine that the fuel dumped from the boat was a hazard. Along the Refugio coast, John Palmenteri, News Channel 3.